Shalom. Hasidism has produced many beautiful stories conveying important lessons. Sometimes there are minor variations in the story where the same story can have a very different lesson. There's one story about a man, a Jew, who had a dream that a distant city under a bridge there's a treasure. And the man was very poor. He was instructed in the dream if you go to that distant city, in some versions it's Vienna, in some versions it's Prague, go to the city, find a bridge, dig at the base, you'll find the treasure. Well, he travels there, finds the bridge. But to his horror, there is a guard there. He thinks it over, says, what am I going to do? I have no choice. He tells the guard the story and says, let me dig and I'll share the treasure with you. The guard laughs and says, a Jew is concerned with dreams. I also had a dream last night. I was in Poland in a certain town, certain street, certain house. And I dug under that house and I found the treasure. You think I'm going to go there and, and do a whole journey because of a dream? And the, the guard chuckled. The Jew thought it over. This city the guard had mentioned was his city. The street was his street. The house was his house. He went home, dug, and found the treasure. Here are the two versions go in different directions. One version has it that the man went to his rabbi and said, Rabbi, I appreciate God helping me to find the treasure. It has to be in such a roundabout way. And the rabbi answered, you needed to learn a lesson. You always had the treasure all along, but you needed to dig. It's beautiful. Rabbi Nachman told the story with a different ending. The man digs, for a tre- digs under his house, finds the treasure. He says, now I know I had the treasure all along. But I had to meet the man in Vienna who could teach me that, that I had the treasure. We each possess a treasure, a spiritual treasure. We go through our normal education, we learn Pythagorean theorem and, uh, and what they were thinking of the Spanish Armada in 1588, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But our education is not geared to finding the inner treasure. Rather to gather outside facts, memorize them, and regurgitate them. Ben Nachman is saying sometimes you have to travel great distances to find the person, the teacher, who could hold up a mirror to us and say, dig inside, there's a treasure there. And yes, the first version of the story is true. We have it, we have to dig. But indeed, sometimes we need to find someone to teach us that it's there in the first place and how to dig, what to look for, and how to bring it to fulfillment.